I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not usually this emotional. Uh. Hey, don't worry. You don't have to explain anything to me, okay? You're fine, I'm here to help, okay? And how I can help you today is having you sign right here. And then I told him I loved him. And then he said, well, I used to love you. Oh, I'm going to be old, alone, die in a chair and get discovered two weeks later. <laughs> Gross, yes. I just don't want you to miss this opportunity. If you go out there today and get hit by a bus, you get nothing. More importantly, it's your family that gets nothing. Um, if you really, you really think that's best? I know it's best. Maybe I'll come back another time. Well, if you think I need it, I'd like to sign up today. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, you know, you're young and healthy, and I mean, not like you're gonna die anytime soon. You know, you know what? You don't need this super life insurance at all. Um, uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna go. Morning, Janice. Hi, Stan. Don't you look cute today? <laughs> Thanks. <gasps> oh, are you okay? Oh. Morning, Janice. Hi, Robbie. <clears throat> Stan. You're a really nice guy, and everyone here loves you. You even helped Janice around the house after a divorce, and you didn't try to sleep with her. I was just doing what anyone else would do. Sorry to hear about your divorce, Janice. Oh, I'm sure even the simplest things are so difficult right now. Let me cream your coffee. Stan, what I'm trying to say is, you're really nice. And it is great having you here. But if you don't start selling, I'm not gonna be able to keep you. This is a results industry, and I'm getting a lot of pressure from above. I want you to stay here, but if you don't increase your sales, I'm not gonna be able to protect you. You're right. I'm sorry, you know, this, this, this is a lot of pressure on you. I apologize. See, Stan, that's what I'm talking about. When I give you a speech like this, I want you to get fired up. I don't want to hear I'm sorry. I want you to get pissed at me and go out there and prove me wrong. Get pissed. Okay, I will. Oh, also, I did pick up some cookies on the way from that amazing bakery from right down the street. Damn it, Stan. You're not making this easy on me. I need you to take this seriously. I am. Oh, also, milk to go with it. How is this milk still cold? Wait a minute. Is this from that bakery with the hour-long line? Sure is. 
Stan, I would rather you were out making sales calls. Oh, no, no, no. I was in line at like 5 a.m., so it did not interfere with work. Why can't you be an ass so I can just fire you, huh? Ooh, nothing but net. Booyah. Boo, yes. What can I do for you, Gare? Nothing, Robbie. Don't do anything differently. I just wanted to let you know that you knocked it out of the park again this month. Once again, you qualify for President's Club. No problem, Gare, okay? That's what I do. Is that all we need here? Are we done? Oh, yes. Don't let me keep you. You go. I will. Do your thing. Are you ever going to get one of the, you know, lunch boxes? I mean, why? Hey. C crazy weather we're having, huh? with that. Gogurt? How is this possible? He's our number one salesman. He's qualified for President's Club the last five years. I don't know, Gary. It must have slipped through the cracks. Fact is, Robbie Strong has been selling our insurance products without the license to do so. Okay. No big deal. We'll have him take the next test, then he'll have his license in a couple weeks. I wish it were that easy. Fact is, with the volume of Robbie's sales, the insurance commissioner is making a statement. He's already suspended Robbie from selling insurance for every year. He can't take the test until the suspension's lifted. Well, this is terrible. How am I supposed to make up for Robbie's sales this year? He's the reason this branch is number one. I assume the office goals will be lowered to account for his absence? The office goal will remain the same. <sighs> this is not Robbie's office, it's the Chicago office. You're gonna have to work together with your team to make up for it. What? That's impossible. There's no one here that can make up for Robbie's sales. What about Phil? No way. He just sells insurance policies to the people in his fantasy baseball league. I will trade you Clayton Kershaw if you buy a life insurance policy out on your wife. What about Alice? She's a go-getter. I'm not putting additional pressure on her. She terrifies me. Jerry, Jer Bear, it's Alice. Your fa what? Oh, 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 you changed your mind. You don't want the policy? All right, Jerry. Here's how this is going to go down, buddy. I'm going to hunt you down, you stupid fuck. And I'm going to claw your eyes out with my fingernails. We are not canceling the policy! Gary, you okay? I understand this is a lot of pressure. Gary! Huh? Oh, don't worry, sir. You can count on Chicago. We will keep that number one spot. That's the spot. Stan, please sit down. You know Robbie? Oh, uh, yeah. How's it going? Nice to meet you. Oh, actually... Right. Um, well, what can I do for you? Are the windows dirty again? I just did them last week. But, I mean, if they're dirty, they're dirty. No, it's not that, Stan. We have some news. Oh, exciting. Or... not exciting? Uh... What's wrong? Well... Technically, Robbie can't sell insurance for the next year. What? Why? Why is not important. What is important is that we're going to lose all that sales revenue. What's important is figuring out how we recover those lost sales. That's not good for the office. Thank you, Stan. I know. What's not good for the Look. office? Jeez. What are you guys talking about? Why are you meeting without me? Alice, we don't need you. I mean, we... We don't need you right now. We're, we're just gossiping. <laughs> Girl, a bunch of balls, you losers. Well, what are we going to do? Well, 
You can start selling more. Oh, right, yeah, right. I'm sorry, I will. I will start selling more. I know you will, because you're going to be out there selling with Robbie for the next year. Well, I thought you said that he couldn't sell. He can't, which is why Robbie is going to be coaching you. Wherever Robbie is, you are. Wherever you are, Robbie is. You are going to make up for Robbie's lost sales. Make sense? Me? I am like the worst person. Like, I am the last in sales. Why not ask any of the other reps? They've been here longer than I have. See, that's the problem. Those guys are stuck in their ways. I need someone who's moldable, okay? You can do this, Stan. You just need some direction. Are you with me? Huh? Can you do this? I, 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 I think I can. I mean, if I have the legend Robbie Strong by my side, <laughs> I think I will be a selling machine. Steve, listen, be at my condo tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., all right? Janice has my address. Hey, white shirt, red tie. And don't forget to do research on the client, all right? All his info's on my desk. We'll see you in the morning. Actually, my name is... Jander know about this. What's up, Phil? <laughs> What's up, Alice? Not shit, except for some monumental fucking news. Am I supposed to guess? No, oh, Phil, I don't want to play your stupid games. Turns out Robbie Strong never had his insurance license, and he's suspended for an entire year. Bullshit. No bullshit. Where did you hear that? I saw Gary and Robbie and Stan huddled up in the conference room like a bunch of fucking schoolgirl bitches. What would Stan be doing in an important meeting like that? Exactly why I went to confirm with Janice. She's got the pulse on this place. Plus, I took her to the gyno last week, so she owes me some juicy gossip. You ever seen a woman's vagina, Phil? Almost. Well, it looks like someone else has a shot at President's Club this year. <laughs> Damn right, you're looking at her. <laughs> no way! All me! I'm in four new fantasy leagues this year, was already planning on killing it. Yeah, we'll see about that, you piece of shit. Well, that escalated quickly. No red pens. You're in your car. Yes, I am. You ready to go? Yes, sir. All right, no, you're driving. I had a little bit to drink before my nap. Oh. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Do you always drink in the morning? Uh, no. Just since I became your coach. So, since yesterday. You're the one in front of the client now. Well, off you go. Flick it or take it. I thought I told you to wear a white shirt and a red tie. This is the only red in my thing that I have. You look like fucking Mr. Rogers. All right, so what'd you learn about our client, Mr. Andrew Brooks? I was supposed to do research. Funny. Okay, really funny. Um, he went to state for college. Okay, which is why I had you wear red and white. Wait, if you already knew that, then why have me look it up? Because I'm not gonna always be here to hold your hand, all right? What else did you learn? 
he has two daughters, Stephanie and Michelle. Okay, good. Now how are you going to use that information to help you? Pretend I'm Mr. Brooks. How are you going to use that information to your advantage? Oh, right now? Yeah. Like a rehearsal? Sure, like a rehearsal. Okay. Um, hi, Mr. Brooks. Is your family prepared to live without your income? That's why it's important to get as much life insurance as possible, you know, while you're healthy. That's a good point, Stan. I never thought about that. I'm still not sure, though. Well, what would your daughters do, you know, Stephanie and Michelle, if you were to pass away? How are they going to pay for dance class? Oh, uh, how do you know my daughters? I don't. I was just looking at their photos online. Excuse me? Why are you looking at photos of my daughter? I wasn't. You just said you were. I, I mean, it, it was the first time. It, it was just this morning. I, they're, they're beautiful. They're, they're gorgeous. I, okay, stop. Honestly, it sounds like you're about to kidnap his daughters. Honestly, it sounds like they're in your house already. You can't bring up things that you wouldn't know had you not done your research. Then why do the research? You do the research so that you're prepared for the meeting. By doing the research, you found out he went to state. Now, before the meeting, you do all the research you can about state. What sports are they playing right now? Did they win the last game they played? So now, when you see a state hat in his office, you bring those things up. You know he went to state, but he doesn't know you know that. You need to make it seem natural. Does that make sense? Okay, I think I got it. Okay, then start again. So, I hear you like state, Mr. Brooks. Oh, oh where'd you hear that from? Uh, God, please kill me. Okay, you feeling good about this? Feeling like you can do this? Yeah, I feel confident. Okay, good. One of us should feel that way. That's gonna help. What? All right, trial by fire it is, okay? Stan, no matter what happens, I need you to commit to the sale. I'm committed. Stan, no matter what happens. Why do you keep saying that? All right, you're gonna be late. Get in there, all right? Uh, okay. Let's go. All right. Hi, can I help you? Mr. Brooks? Yeah. Hi, I'm Stan. I I'm from the insurance company. I'm Robbie Strong Replacement. Oh, yeah. I was expecting you. Thanks for coming. Come on in. Hey, Stan. Can I get you a drink? Sure. Uh, water is fine. Coming right up. I see you're a state fan, Mr. Brooks. Very observant. I like that in the sales rep. <coughs> this is not water. No, Stan, it isn't. Back in my day, this is how we did business. Two martini lunch and a handshake. And no one wore pants to those meetings? Oh, no. Everyone wore pants. I just don't wear pants. I like to work at home. That's why I moved here. After a little business, I like to party. You know, like, party? Now, hey, let's look at that policy and get this business stuff over with. Uh, of, of course. Um, may I take a few minutes? Uh, where did you say your bathroom was? Uh, it's just back there to the left. Awesome, thank you. Robbie, he doesn't have any pants on. I asked for a glass of water and he gave me a glass full of vodka. No, no, I don't stay. I leave. It's not worth it. No! Oh, I'll be there in a second. Stan, look, I'm sorry. Yesterday was a tough day, okay? We'll start over tomorrow, all right? Bright and early, okay? We'll get you your first sale. Hell, we might even get you to President's Club this year, okay? 
Okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. Not okay. Robbie, it's me, Sam. Bright and early, just like you said. Fuck me. You there? Hey, scene 23, take one. I actually keep you. Is there anything else you need? Are we done here? No, no, don't let me keep you. You go do your thing. My cell frame. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. All right, Jerry. When I find you, I swear to God, I'm gonna slit your sorry ass up. You better start running, because when I find you, I am gonna kill your family. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> I have been four new fantasy leagues this year. Was already planning on killing you. Yeah, we'll see about that, you piece of garbage. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. Did I miss something? Thank you. 